Hi everyone, my name is Humei Chintawar, and today I'll be presenting my project on the Ergo Grip, which is a, a project that focuses on improving comfort, versatility, and control for bike riders and scooter riders through an innovative design that can be applied to multiple types of vehicles. Uh, this is for strictly educational purposes only, and here let me let me just let's, let's dive into the details. Uh, so here's the project overview. So I'm a, I'm going to um, introduce the problem, the main problem with the handlebars, uh, the current product description, and what uh, the current market is looking like. Uh, my uh, proposed modification CAD sketches and uh, graphics, the manufacturing processes for this product, and different materials that can be used, and then finally advantages, advantages and disadvantages for this product, and then the, my references for this. So the product I'm focusing on is, is on the handle grips, which is commonly used, used on bikes and scooters. While these grips are essential for rider comfort and control, many users face issues with hand fatigue, discomfort of a long ride, and a lack of adaptability. Standard grips and uh, handlebars have not always been designed with ergonomics in mind, nor are they easily transferable between different vehicles for a lot of different um, users. The goals of my project are to improve the comfort, ease of use, and versatility by using modular grips that have ergonomically designed services and shock absorbing materials. Here's the product description. So I'm gonna talk about the existing product and how it works. So current grips have little to no wrist support and are very harsh on hand bones. And uh, there have been many studies that have linked um, excessive uh, poor handlebar use on bikes and scooters with uh, excessive pain in the wrists, hand bones, and just overall fatigue and discomfort. And um, specific handlebars cannot be transferred between vehicles and does not have hand contours. The limitations here are clear. There's a need for improved comfort, better grip in various conditions, and modularity to allow users to switch the grips between vehicles quickly. So the design concept is to create modular hand grips, as I've stated before. So here in the top right corner, I have a, a, a computer sketch of my proposed solution. Uh, a lot of handlebars are very rigid and stiff and are cylindrical, which does not fit our hands, which are very um, uh, unorthodox. So I propose to create a resting surface and different finger grooves and a palm rest for ergonomics and a textured pattern to improve the grip even in wet and sweaty conditions. The second feature will uh, have the comfort of like well-designed handlebars with shock absorbing sock shock absorption foam and gel padding and my plan is to use materials like soft rubber foam padding and a durable locking system to make sure that everything can fit in place and it's easy for ease of use and versatile for users. Uh, here's my CAD model. You can see that um, there's different resting points for different grooves on the fingers. And there's also uh, a palm rest behind this, which shows which, which uh, people can rest their hands on, which makes riding bicycles and scooters a lot easier. Um, here's a CAD model, a video of the CAD model. As you can see, there is enough space for all fingers to land, and it's also very easily adaptable to other types of uh, vehicles like bicycles and um, scooters, and it allows users to have free control over their wrist. Uh, for manufacturing, several processes will be used to ensure both durability and comfort in the design. First, injection molding will be used for the outer silicone shell. This is to be used to uh, be weather resistant and make sure that it's easy, uh, it feels okay on the hands. And this process is ideal for creating complex shapes with high precision, and it's very cost effective for mass production. Next, over molding will be used to incorporate the foam and gel layer inside the grip. And this allows us to combine the two materials into one seamless part, 
ensuring the foam is glue bonded to securely within the outer shell. And so this is for um, shock absorption to make sure that bumps and little uh, rigidness during the rides aren't uh, adversely affecting the user and the, its bones. Uh, material selection. Uh, for the outer shell, uh, we have selected a weather resistant silicone rubber. This material is known for its durability in lots of weather conditions and provides a very soft surface and improves grips. It's also flexible so it can easily conform to the rider's hand in extreme circumstances. The inner padding will be made from memory foam or gel and these both of these materials have a high uh, shock absorption and are well known for providing comfort. The gel in particular offers greater longevity and resilience compared to the standard memory foam. Advantages and disadvantages. Um, so there are a lot of advantages, pros, and a lot of cons to this, obviously. On the positive side, these grips greatly improve comfort for their ergonomic design and shock absorbing materials. And their modularity adds a layer of convenience as users can easily swap grips between bikes and scooters, reducing the need to buy multiple um, hand conforming and ergonomic grips. And the high quality materials ensure durability and weather resistance, meaning the grips will last for a long time under various conditions. However, due to these pros and higher uh, costs, there will be uh, from some drawbacks. So the use of premium materials like silicone and gel will, will result in higher manufacturing costs, which will lead to a higher price point for customers. And then the grips might be slightly bulkier than the traditional ones, which will lead to um, a disadvantage for those looking for minimalist designs and those who are looking for very high speed and acceleration. And finally, grips are designed to be universal, but there must still be limitations for extreme handlebar sizes like the one in the picture. A lot of sports bikes might also have some limitations due to the uh, hand placement. And these are my resources. And I just want to talk about how this uh, grip makes the overall bike product and scooter product better. And since this product involved provides significant comfort improvements, reducing hand strain and fatigue for longer trips. The versatility of the modular design also allows users to transfer grips easily between vehicles, which saves money and time. The shock absorption properties between the grips suitable for various terrains, whether users are biking through the city, on concrete, or on rough trails in the mountains. It will make sure that users have a fun, uh, fun time doing their thing and they will not be irritated by uh, different bumps and road conditions. And lastly, the dermal materials ensure that these will last a lifetime. Thank you.